guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we have a bit of a different setup today. Basically my room is really small but I'm just figuring out how I can do like a full length try on and I feel like this is the best case scenario. So I brought the rail out and I have loads of outfits here. Today's video is going to be fashion related as you can probably guess. I'm going to be recreating Pinterest outfits but the winter edition. So recreating winter Pinterest outfits. I'll put a quick scroll through my Pinterest board here for Autumn Winter 21. I love Pinterest, it's my happy place. When I'm trying to do social media detox and not go on like Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, I still go on Pinterest because there's just no drama there. You always come off a of feeling like positive and inspired and there's just no drama on there. If you're a Pinterest queen as well, leave a comment below. I'll leave my Pinterest like link in the comments so that you can follow me if you want to, of course. I literally have a board for everything like anything you would imagine bleep and if you can't see it on there it's because it's a secret because i'm too like scared to show it but i'll have a board for everything you better believe okay i'm gonna start my way over at the end and work my way back this is the first outfit i'll put the picture here that it's inspired by i think this one is inspired by my queen barbara christopherson love her these are some motel rocks zebra jeans i think they're called the zovin and i've worn these to death and I'm not stopping anytime soon. I did hear someone on TikTok give a fashion opinion that just because Kendall Jenner wore zebra trousers in 2019 doesn't mean that you should. Well, I object. I think it does. I have a zebra rug, I have zebra pants, I have a zebra bag. Zebra is one of my favourite patterns and I will be wearing it. I don't care if it hasn't been in trend since 2019. It's in trend in my life. Then I got my new North Face puffer. I actually worked with Zalando recently over on Instagram and TikTok and this is one of the pieces that I picked out. I love it so much. It's the cropped nuptice. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I really, really, really love this one. It's cute and it goes with everything and it's warm, it's functional and cute. I know that like everyone and their mother has them now, but I don't care. I'm hopping on the bandwagon. I like it. It probably will be my only one of it because they are like nearly 300 euro. Is this the most expensive item in my wardrobe now? Apart from my Prada bag, this is the most expensive item in my wardrobe. I think I got this Barbara styled it with a hoodie underneath because that's cropped. I probably need a cropped hoodie, but I don't have a cropped hoodie. But I do have this huge man's one from Penny's that I live in. So I'll try and put that underneath and roll it up somehow. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure she had a Prada bag, but I have this Prada dupe from Bershka with the chain and all. We love her. She's fab. She goes with everything. She's my day-to-day -day bag. Okay, next we're gonna go with this. Oh my god. It's like the only bit of colour on the rail, but I love it. I love red. It matches my nails. Can you see? I was waiting for this to come all week so I could film this video because this has to be in it. Because I think I made my Pinterest autumn winter board like at the end of summer, right? Probably middle to end of summer. This has been one of the first things I pinned on it. An outfit with this jacket. I have saved every outfit I could find with this jacket to try and convince myself that getting a red leather jacket would be worth it, okay? And there was a gorgeous 80 euro one in Motel Rocks, which was the one I wanted. But it was sold out. I didn't want to spend 80 euro. But then I saw this one in Boohoo on the Black Friday sales and I think it was down to 20. The quality isn't the best, let's be honest. It's not. I think the Motel Rocks one would have been amazing, but here we are. This is all I could get and I have been scouring the internet. I'm still really happy with her. She also does have that smell. You know the smell I'm on about. I can't like describe it, but it's, it's that smell. Having a fun little moment kind of outside my comfort zone for this outfit, I just... I don't know, it makes me feel kind of chic or something. Now I haven't even tried this on so it might not look right at all. I think I might need a smaller shirt. I love the way they had the layers of the shirt, the waistcoat and the jacket. Like we love layering for autumn and winter um, and I think it's really cute. I bought my beret in Paris. She's an official beret. She's a Parisian beret. She's not just any beret. She was from H&M so you can't get it anywhere. But again, I did buy her in Paris. So she she's French. You have to say bonjour. Bonjour. I'm kicking myself that I couldn't actually wear this outfit when I was in Paris because it would have been sick. I think it'd be so cute with like 
knee high stockings and little loafers but i did buy a pair of loafers and i have to return them because my feet are too narrow they don't fit me i just know they're not the right shoe for me so i need to wear i need to wear like black chunky boots i think this would be so cute with like some tights or some little like knee high mesh stocking socks and boots or loafers whatever you can do i just love it so exciting Love it when I get so high. Okay, next we're bringing back an OG, the full fur coat. Where's my, mine even from? Mine's from Zara. <gasps> I bought this in London. This was one of my first ever Zara purchases. I didn't shop in Zara till I was in college, and um, so I think I was, I was, I think I was nineteen or twenty. Was I twenty? I think I was twenty, and I was in London with my friends and we went to Zara and I got this and this was like 90 pound but at the time I was in college so it was like really big for me but I love her she has a hood and everything but the picture I saw they did have like one of those kind of Russian hats I don't know the exact name for them I just know people are calling them Russian hats I have another faux fur book a hat and then this one I got from Penny's it's like a head wrap which I think is a better vibe for this I don't know I just feel like it is um love it also comes in cream was like a fiber go get them Oh my god, everything just fell out of my hand. <laughs> Underneath that, you could definitely wear what I'm wearing, and I probably will at some point. But just for some variation, you could walk on a dress. You could do like a knit dress, that would be cute. And this one is from last year from ASOS. I think it's As You Label. It's just a long black dress that has a zip up detail, it has long sleeves, and then it has kind of like some detail ribbing stuff under the bust. I think she's cute, she's comfy to wear, and like a perfect little layer under that jacket because it, it is quite warm mm, is this my favorite jacket i think this is my favorite jacket that i have right now it kind of has to be doesn't it like look at it i didn't have anything in this color it's like chocolate brown and then it's it's this kind of shaggy faux fur detail on the lapels and then the, the sleeves the cuffs Oh, it just makes me so happy. I, I don't know why. I got a matching bag from ASOS. They're both from ASOS. I think it's sold out now though. But I did get it in the Black Friday sales. But I actually think when I bought it, it was then reduced even further. And I was like, do I return and order again? But I just didn't. I didn't bother. I was too lazy for that. But anyway. She is really cute, isn't she? But she does make weird sound when you, when you move. Do I have to like put baby powder on it or something? Talc. Is that what you're meant to do to like stop that from happening or will that ruin it? I'm not, I'm not going to do it in case. But if anybody knows how to stop that noise, let me know because that's just going to irritate me. Like I do like to be the centre of attention, but not for that reason. I'm just going to wear this top again. I mentioned where it's from, but the skirt is Motel Rats and the top is ASOS. But it's a little small for me. I think I should on the wash a little bit. These PLC coated flares have me by a chokehold. I have them in the chocolate and the black and I wear both of them like multiple times a week i'm not joking so comfy they work really well if you're like a bloated girly because like they there's good stretch like they're still comfy they don't make that much noise like they're fine they're so flattering on your bum and like your legs like they do, i just feel like they give you such a nice figure so i am obsessed with them and i have them on sale i think they're normally around like 40 euro i got both for 50. so i'm delighted with myself Okay, second last outfit. We have the PLT friend leather blazer. Again, I love this. It is very oversized on me, and I do tend to wear it with like baggy jeans. And I, I like that vibe, but I don't know if it's very flattering on me. But like, I don't care because it's comfy and I enjoy wearing it. But I think this way is really cute too. You could wear it with just this underneath, but I do have another top from Zara, which is like a basic. This is it. I picked it up in the new Zara in Liffey Valley, which is gorgeous, by the way. If you're out there, definitely take a spin out. It's like very, like, the interior design is gorgeous. It's very, like, futuristic. Kind of a vibe. I, I really like it. But, yeah, I, I just picked that up. And I'll probably wear the skirt underneath it. And then my pull and bear knee high boots from last year. They have these in brown on the website right now, I think. Or they have similar ones on Urban Outfitters. They are a little more expensive, though. Um, and they have variations on ASOS for sure these are my favorite i oh, i'm just obsessed with them or if you want a flat version girls these are from pennies 25 euro picked them up this week 
I'm so, like I'm so impressed by the quality the sole on them is like thick she's not like platform but she is thick and there is a tiny bit of like a heel I like, showed my mom and I was like mom isn't like just the detail on these insane to you like look so gorgeous oh I love them they're so nice they fit really well they look nice they don't feel too wellington-y on me because you know how that was like a big a big deal last year the Zara rubber boots and they were just giving me very much like wellies and I see I see enough wellies where I'm from do you know what I mean I'm not going out and purchasing wellies I'm okay thanks I think it's good to have a flat pair too because if you're going on a city break or the Christmas markets or whatever and it's like raining or snowing or whatever sometimes heels aren't the best idea they're not they might look the cutest but sometimes they're not the best idea so these will still work with the outfit but be way more comfy and then another pair of black boots I have are these ones these are actually from Boohoo I, I think I got these two years ago they kind of like give me Doc Martin vibes you know like that kind of vibe but I didn't want to get the Doc Martens because so many of my friends feet are in bits from the Doc Martens so I was just like I'm just not here for that and these don't harm my feet in any way shape or form they're actually very comfortable and they go with everything I love these Last outfit guys. I have to do a little sparkly top moment. I have to. I do like the Zara and H&M one but I did see this in Penny so I just picked it up. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because I think I prefer the H&M one but then I'm like oh I feel like everyone's going to have it so I just I don't know but they are they are in pennies if you're interested. I'll give you a close-up look of it. Isn't it gorgeous? It is nice and it does have the line on but I just feel like this particular type of sequin I, I feel like it's gonna be itchy and cling on to everything but I don't know and also like now with the restrictions where the fuck am I even gonna wear it anyway I mean where am I gonna wear any of this I do just wear it and prance around my room and make videos all day and that's fine to Tesco to Aldi they love to see me it is really nice though I don't know let me know if I should keep it if you have ever watched any of my content anywhere you've seen this jacket i wear this to death this is definitely the most worn item of clothing in my whole wardrobe she's just phenomenal she's like the perfect fit lengthwise everything on me so versatile oh my god i love her so much and she's basic i know she's basic okay but she's just a basic that works every single time from pennies two years ago or one year ago mm, one year ago only one year ago from pennies um and i love her they they have like a similar brand version at the moment but i have linked really similar ones on my like to know what account um it's on nasty gal and boohoo so I'll, I'll link them below as well for you and i'll link my like to know what account because if you're ever interested in any links to my items i try to link it over there and on my highlights on instagram so definitely check there if you want more inspo or anything like that i just love this jacket and it just goes so well with everything dress her up dress her down she's good to go and didn't i tell you these pretty little pink coated flares had me in a chokehold this is the black pair i just i just i don't have anything else to say about them other than they're perfect and i love them okay i'm done <laughs> when i get so high i drop that i solo make you sit right here no. okay guys that was it thank you so much for watching this youtube video i feel a little like out of my comfort zone I don't know why that was a day i haven't filmed a proper full length try on fashion video like that in a while so i think you just i don't know i don't know what it is my energy is a little weird i'm calm i'm just i'm just not very energetic today i don't know what it is but i'm fine so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video do let me know down below what was your favorite outfit um and go follow me on instagram because i probably will be taking pictures of most of these outfits at some point over winter i only bought like three or four new items most of these are you know items i have in my wardrobe that are basics that will you know a lot of those outfits you can swap and change different things so that's what i'm trying to do more of is because i noticed especially over summer i think it's the brighter colors and the patterns and stuff in summer those kind of pieces you can only really wear like once or twice and then it's like oh you've worn that now whereas things like this you can always swap and change and make different um but i don't know that's just what i'm trying to do more of and less of if that makes sense don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok and i'll make sure to link as much as possible below in the description box for you so yeah that's my winter fashion content for you girlies i hope you enjoyed also leave my pinterest below pinterest is a great way to get inspired and to like really figure out what you like and your 
aesthetic and stuff like that um, and I think it's like such a fun activity it's just to recreate Pinterest outfits or other kind of outfits and especially if you're feeling stuck like go into your wardrobe find something and type that item into Pinterest and loads of different outfits will come up and most likely you'll have things in your wardrobe that you just need to style differently but you just didn't think about it which is another amazing thing definitely tag me on Instagram if you recreate any of these outfits I'd love to see like yours spin on them um, and I'll see you in my next video goodbye I came over, I ain't sober, I'm still drunk, that's hang over. Might run it back when this page over. You the best thing. I done slaved over, gone arch you back and been way over. It's overdue for that understressing. Over him now you underdressing. Call me up and I come finessing. Like, ooh, we shot it, what it do, what it don't. Baby, you a queen, you can move how you want.